This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hello, everybody. It was all about Nathan Morris today, Ooh. celebrating 20 years in the biz. I thought yeah, it was mate. going to be horrendous, to be honest. I thought oh, it was no. going to give me a lot of anxiety and mm. stress, and it was just an absolutely mm. lovely journey. So we did start off by taking you outside with a mm. blindfold on, mate. Which you thought, made oh, To geez. an alley where you've done some bad stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then I was, like, down on my knees. Anyway, you'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> It was very, it was shocking. Some uh, of your greatest hits. Yeah, uh, Rick Arden joins us from Channel 7. He's got some nice words to say. Yeah. Um, and the bin chicken drop by as well, which was beautiful. Yeah, and uh, Marley and O'Brien, they're in the background now. Say hello, yell it. Hello. Oh, Marley That's, um, just coughing, coughs. so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they join us. Tim Gossage was here yes. 20 years ago when you were both working together. So he lives the magic oh, moment when God. Nathan started. And um, there's a very Nathan-centric debrief to enjoy as well. <laughs> this is Nathan, Nat and Sean Celebrating Nathan's 20th anniversary On Nova 937 I love Bonar <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's that, it's it's five, five, six. Gee, that's lifted me now. Nathan, Nat and Sean. It is the 23rd of June. And 20 years ago, this man, Brian, uh, Nathan Brian Morris, arrived. Well, he was already working for us doing casually, weren't you? Yeah. You were doing a little bit of street stuff and I you know. were doing Big Brother reports for us. I know. Did he like Boner back then when he first started with you now? Because I wasn't um, here. I was he didn't here talk for this about it. I didn't know much about yes. Boner then. Okay. <laughs> It is 20 years to the day since Nathan Morris started full-time with us. Oh, oh. Can, I, can I get a um, first impressions, please, Natalie? Oh, well, did the first started? impression was well before that because he did really be a fortune for us on the street. Yes. He was an advanced Casanova. I, oh. <laughs> I would get here as, as the show starts and then I'd be out every day and then I wouldn't get home until after five and I'd just be out on the back of a semi-trailer. Um, Tipping with, rubbish on people's yeah, lawns. Yeah, with six bins. Three of them had rubbish in them. Three of them had prizes in them. And whatever you spun up, you just dumped on the lawn. I, and love, left. I love the and idea. It was terrible, to be honest. Oh, really? No, no, it was. No, it was great. It was a great promotion. <laughs> but it was terrible because some people's houses you rocked up to and they weren't doing too well financially. And mm. they'd say, oh, my God. They really God, needed. Here. I've got no... And one day, uh, the guy... We, we were there a little bit earlier and this guy says, come in. And he goes, we've got no food in our cupboards. And he opened up his cupboards and showed there was no food. Anyway, he, he spun up rubbish. Pits. And you just tipped the rubbish and on. I had to tip the well, rubbish on. So in the I rubbish got back. Were there at and least I, some food scraps. Yeah, and I got back to Nova and I said, oh, I cannot be part of what just happened. Um, and then we end up sending him a five hundred dollar voucher mm. to go to Woolworths so we could buy some oh. food. Only because it was shocking. Like, oh, and then I was God. like, you can't just dump rubbish on that guy. <laughs> he doesn't have doesn't have the energy doesn't he doesn't have the food to give him the energy to clean up the rubbish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so point. bad. Tough yeah, going. yeah. Mm. But um, that was just like one of the first steps into radio. Yes, that's right. Right. Well, hopefully, or oh, not hopefully, we are going to have some celebrations today, Nate. So, hopefully. 20 years, congratulations. <laughs> we are so, also giving people the opportunity to win some money with us this That's morning. That's right. $1,000. They're not here for the celebration of 20 years. They're here for that. And That's two halves up. as well. Um, your opportunity to go and see the Spurs. Yeah. The Babbers. Yeah. yeah. How oh, <laughs> can you imagine? Is this we are celebrating a Nathan in every way possible. We do have a lot of surprises for him <laughs> well, later this, this morning. Um, starting with his favourite song of all time. Not my favourite song. Uh, I love it. Let's George go. George Ezra. No. Get Sienfa the mower out. Jim's mowing. Green, green grass, Nathan. This is love for that. you. <laughs> Have you checked out whatif.com's top ten winter weekenders yet? How good's a what-if tip? Fremantle's in there. Darwin, Bendigo, Airlie Beach. Book your winter getaway on the What If app. What If? It's Aussie for travel. Woo! Minor or nation's trading, McMahon is the place to be. If you're experiencing winning cash, then keep it here on Nova. Time for Gimme More, and our contestant <laughs> is Nikki from Kingsley. <gasps> Nikki, are you ready to play Nikki. Gimme More with McMahon? Sure am. Hey, Nikki, are you in it for the long run? Yeah, she is. Oh, uh, let's go for it, hey? Yeah, five hundred dollars will change your life. Imagine, imagine living on five hundred dollars. Will you quit your job? Is the first question. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, I'd have to. I'd have to seriously think about it. Yeah. Oh, now, don't. Nikki, it's six twenty-two on a Friday morning. Why are you up this early? Uh, because I'm heading off to a cross country this morning out oh. at Mawson Park. 
say hello to all the NHTSA schools up there, getting oh. ready for the day. Hi, oh, everyone. yeah, cross-country's been a thing lately. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, Nikki, if you're out and about in the streets, look out for a UFO. We did spot one this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. it was just an aircraft. All right, yeah. I will. So I'll when you're out, just, I see it. just have your wits about you and Check make sure you guard field. your anus. <laughs> <laughs> what about Neptune? <laughs> <laughs> All the planets. Nikki, are you ready to play Gimme More? I'm ready. All right, your first question is for $100. Sean, do you want to ask? Yes, yes, absolutely. Here it is, Nikki. How do you spell Nathan? Capital N A. <laughs> T-H-O-N. Nikki, that's wrong. Nikki! N-A-T-H-A-N. I like that you capitalised. I know you capitalised. A-N. Nikki. Sorry. No, that's okay, honey, because it could have been an O-N, an E-N. Oh, Amy's, Amy's horrified. Oh, oh, I only okay. listen. I don't write it of down. Of course oh. you don't. Why would you? Jeez, mm. sweetheart. Hey, Nikki, just in case, we'll give you the next couple of questions to yeah. see if you've got yourself. All right. She doesn't want to play anymore. Through. She's done. I know, but we want to ask the question. So um, question two would have been this, Nikki, had you got to it. Yep. Which TV show did Nathan appear on before coming to Nova? Big Brother. Okay. Yeah, okay. We would have also accepted Takeshi's Castle. <laughs> Oh, he wouldn't have. Don't right. Google it. <laughs> and the last one, which would have been for $500, what is Nathan's mum's name? Nikki, do you know that? Oh, I know Brian. Um, oh. Is it Barbara? No! no. Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, Brian, you're a hero. <laughs> my, it's Marlene, Dad, and she's in my the My dad house. is here Marlene. right now, and he could not be happier. Dad? Uh, that, someone, someone was asked to guess uh, to, to guess mum's name. What's Nathan's mum's name? And, they, and uh, we've got Nikki, Nikki with us right now. And Nikki said, um, Nick, "Go stand over in the microphone, Dad." Nikki said, "No, I don't know his mum's name. I know his dad's name's Brian." And then she said, "Is it Barbara?" <laughs> Why wouldn't you, Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. Anyway, hey, Nikki didn't win anything, I know. unfortunately. I'm so Sorry, sad. Sorry, Nikki. Have okay. a great weekend, anyway, sweetheart. Bye, babe. Oh, she's mm. gone. See you, Nikki. Gone. Yeah. Oh, and. Mm. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Marlene and Brian are in the building right now. Yes. Do, do, do we want to talk about this sledge that Marlene gave me a little bit earlier on? Mm, no? Yeah, I think so. Marlene, step not, up to the microphone. The microphone right next to you. Now all of a sudden she doesn't what want to talk. Sledge? What sledge? <laughs> what sledge? The thing you, you said, said to me. happy anniversary. Yeah, you said, yeah, yeah. You yeah. walked in, you said happy 20th anniversary. And then yeah. what did you say? That's the first time I've been able to say that to you. Mm, as in, you didn't well, mean the 20th, next. you meant happy anniversary. Am I wrong? <laughs> no partner. You're alone, Oh, Nathan. thanks for spelling it out, oh, Sean. Thank Sean <laughs> <understand> <laughs> oh, thank God, Sean, Sean I didn't that's understand. that's terrible. I didn't mean <laughs> Oh. Rub it in. Wow, Marlene. Wow, revelling in your son's loneliness. <laughs> oh, it's your fault, not mine. <laughs> I mean, it's not... your fault. You made me. You did something wrong. <laughs> you, was... did, you, you did something wrong in the mix. I don't know if it was oh, position can I, or that's what you're eating. Unbelievably <laughs> unlovable. <laughs> to tell you we know what now, you're eating. What? What? That falls back onto the man, so it's your father's fault. Oh, oh well, biologically speaking. Is you that... might as well blame me for the cake, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Everybody's you didn't get the ingredients for a year and a half, Dad. How was Mum supposed to make a sponge cake? <laughs> Oh, it's going well, Nathan's 20th anniversary <laughs> show. We're going to ramp it up shortly, though, because um, his first oh, birthday God. surprise is He's really looking forward away. to it. Yeah. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. At the moment, we are standing in an alleyway oh. behind our building. Nathan, what are your thoughts? You're blindfolded, obviously. There could be no, like, there, there couldn't be any more noise right now. So I just hear beeping mm. and construction because they're doing mm. the apartments over there. But then there is this one voice. There's this male voice that keeps coming over to my right ear and saying, saying things to me, and I don't know who it is. Well, what sort of things are they saying to, to you? Um, uh, they're saying like, you know, oh, we love you, Nathan. <laughs> and, it's not creepy at all, is and, it? And things like that. <laughs> In a lane way, blindfolded. <laughs> you know what I mean? Brings back memories, doesn't it? really it? does, Sean. Yes. <laughs> well, up next, we will um, unveil Nathan's surprise for him here in the alleyway. And uh, but right now, we've got a bit of a traffic update from Ellie. Perth traffic. Nova 937. Look for the Buy West Eat Best logo and enjoy the freshest produce and delicious flavours that support our farmers. Buy West Eat Best. It's feel-good food. Okay. All right, weather-wise, uh, currently, Nathan, it's 9 degrees and it feels like 6.2 in this alley, just Ooh, so you know. it does. Where <laughs> it does. We are headed for a top of 15 today. We've got a shower or two. Tomorrow, 17 and showers and 15 and showers on Sunday. Ellie, how's it looking on the roads? 
Uh, we've got a crash to look out for on the Mitchell southbound before Hay Street in the city. The right lane is blocked, towing services are on site and very heavy on the approach. There's also a truck broken down on Road Highway northbound at the entry to Orong Road in East Cannington. The left lane is blocked. It's heavy back to Nicholson Road in conjunction with the Morning Peak. Also, those water court works to look out for Wannery Road, northbound Camberwell Road. The left lane is closed there, down to 40 k's. Head to Health offers free mental health services with no referral or appointment required. Call one 800 955 9212. This message is brought to you by the Australian Government camera. Thanks so much, Ellie. Excellent work. Um, <laughs> We're in the busiest bloody alleyway oh, no, that you've we, ever seen. I know you've got a... <laughs> it's like you blindfolded me and put me on the freeway. <laughs> There's so many cars trying to come into this you area. Can't, you can't see the traffic backed up, Nathan. Um, really? So, um, sometimes... A boy has a dream. Oh, God. <laughs> Sometimes he says something and we're like, maybe we can make that happen. Mm. Um, a while ago, mm. uh, Jeremy McGovern was in the house mm. and this happened. Can someone make me a banner? I want to see what it's like to run through it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. How exciting. That's maybe the banner idea. people can make us a banner and then mm. we can see what it's like to run through it. <laughs> Uh, yes. That's right. You asked for a banner to run through it. Uh, I take you. Take your Wait, then off. before I do, is this just going to be two people holding either end of a toilet roll? Well, why don't, <laughs> why don't you take your blindfold off and have a look? Oh, we have a banner. Whoa! <laughs> oh, a proper banner. Oh, it's a proper, proper banner. Oh, Jesus. It's big. Read your banner. 20 years, 4,220 shows, 12,600 hours, still can't say schnitzel. Oh, I, it, I said it! Oh, my God! I said schnitzel! No, you got it wrong then. Rick! You got it oh right Oh, my God! You got it right the first Rick Arden's here! Now, Nathan, take a run up. You have to run through that banner. Oh, do I run through it? Yeah, that's what it's all about. Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> the cars are go. all backed Here he goes. up. Here he goes. Come on, no, through, through the He's banner. Running, He's running through it, everybody. Here he goes. Here he goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what football's all about. Yeah. <laughs> We love you, Nathan. Oh, You're my gosh. That's Rick Harden. That was you, Rick. God, Rick, when you whisper in my ear when you're just at my house, you sound different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you well, so much for coming. 20 years, mate. Well done. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, Nathan. That was a thrill. That banner was made by these wonderful women from Footy Banners Made by Mums. Tash. And Tash. Oh. Tash, you guys have been working hard on this. Well done. Thank you. What, uh, Tash? Hi, oh, hey, Nathan. Oh, thank you so much. How how long does one of those banners take to make? Oh, uh, about an hour. An, an hour? hour? Yes, so oh. about the, obviously all the prep work in the meantime, so you probably maybe an hour and a half to do all that work, so yeah. Wow. You've done an amazing Thanks job, Tash. For everybody at home, it was about four metres wide. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, Nathan, I can hear you breathing. Oh, You've actually got out rad. of the trot. It was a real thrill for what I just experienced there. <laughs> I never understood AFL, but now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the money. It's not about the glitz and glamour. It's yes. about the crepe paper. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of plastic these days. Yeah. The crepe paper just disintegrates in the rain. Oh, really? See, this is what you... See, I was you're... running so fast I didn't feel the texture. No, I know. <laughs> we're a bit worried he wouldn't be able to burst through it, but... No problems at all. All the young kids love it. It's just the excitement on their faces, and this is the reason why we do it. Just a group of mums getting together, a little bit of mental health. Yeah. And, you know, great support from our local footy club, High Wycombe Junior Football Club. High Wycombe, yep. Um, you know, they've absolutely supported us for the last five years doing this, and it's just grown. It's absolutely Oh, amazing. good on you. Well, it was I really love that. beautiful. I implore you, you guys should be hired out for every situation. Oh, Even just going to work in the morning, having the front of your house. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not really sure my boss would appreciate that. <laughs> I did tell him this morning that, you know, it was going to be a bit of excitement for us. So oh, was that was a real thrill. Mums. That's it's great. The best. Good Thank you ladies. so Thank much, you mums. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. All right, that's just the first of many surprises. Oh, jeez, how do you beat his banner? And Rick Arden. <laughs> <laughs> the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. So, tick, we've ticked off run through a banner. Yes. Your next dream come true is just some one-on-one. -on -one. dance from Rick Arden. <laughs> <laughs> time with Rick Arden. Uh, Good morning. Rick. Good morning, Rick. Oh, Thanks
for coming by this morning. Oh, what a great morning. That was so funny in the alleyway. It was oh, yeah. You were hilarious. whispering in Nathan's ear. Oh, he was getting yeah. a bit well, concerned. Well, he was blindfolded, obviously. It was just such a shock. And then suddenly to see all these people and the camera facing me and then, of course, Rick Arden. It was, it was, that was a sensory overload, that was. That was <laughs> that unbelievable. Was you we'll almost you got an art on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know. So you've run through a banner before. Oh, a couple of times playing footy, yeah. We've known each other for a while. Why did you never, never tell me how oh, great it was? I didn't know you wanted to know about yeah. my well, banner running. Of course I do. I know everything about you, Rick Arden. Rick, how many games? You've played a lot of games through your time. You played down. And you played states and all that kind of stuff. So what's a, what's a milestone game that you've run through a banner? Oh, uh, well, grand finals, I guess, in the old days. But my favourite memory, not running through a banner, was playing against the Vicks for the WA 45-year-old yes. side and beating them. Nothing better yeah, than no. beating the Vicks. Oh, yes, yeah, love, well it, love it, love um, it. Well done. Rick Arden, can you maybe like take what happened today and can we see a news um, start with you and Sue running through a banner? <laughs> sure. <laughs> How amazing would that be? Sure. Yes. Love to do that. Perth I'm not sure it. Sue would be that keen on that. But <laughs> you just pick her up and carry a bodyguard. Yeah, no, I, could <laughs> I could do that. That'd be great. What a way to start the news. Yeah, what a way to start everything. Yeah, yeah, to be definitely. honest. That was funny. Mm. Mm, now, am is. I allowed to give no Yeah, yeah, yeah well, there's okay. no, yeah, look, yeah. It wasn't look, just a you. whisper, sweet nothing. No, Jeez. that's right. Yeah. I'd rather enjoy doing that. Now, a bottle of verve for oh, you. Oh, oh the fancy he stuff. He loves champagne. And, yeah. And also. Uh, Got a nice banner for your certificate, Nathan Morris, 20 years on Nova. What does it say? 20 certificate years. of what? Certificate of participation. <laughs> <laughs> certificate well of participation. You took part. That's right. Why is, he, why is he taking part? And also, I've got for you too yes. a schnitzel with Worcestershire sauce, but you've got to say it first to get it. A schnitzel? Yes. With Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Mitchell is still a bit hit and miss, but, I, you know, he's getting there. Can I just say, Rick, it is an absolute thrill having you here for my 20th because growing up, um, we grew up with you on TV, you and Sue, and now to realise that we've been in the industry for this long, mm. that you're our peers, which blows mm. our minds, it's it's a real honour. Rick's like, oh. you're not our peers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no it's just, and, and look, the past 20 years I've been listening to Nova too, and it's great to see that what Nova's done, they've put their faith in Nathan. Oh, <laughs> faith in. Gutsy. Gutsy. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. No, have you got anything there. else special there, Rick? Uh, yeah, I've got something else special too. What your mum and dad told me out in the alleyway. Oh, God. And, oh, uh, no, what? Uh, what your mum said is... Uh, what we enjoyed is uh, coming out here thinking it was for us because you know what we created Nathan. Mm. Oh, <laughs> they're going to do it again. How they did it, Nathan? Yeah, Mum and Dad. No, <laughs> Dad, 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 Dad um, went into a room with the cup and then threw, threw it in the general direction at Mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not like my kids. I don't want to know. Occasionally, I say to my kids, "Just remember, we made you." They yeah, go, Dad, right. yeah. don't yeah. say that. Yeah, I'm proof that you can be uh, a child can be made by holding hands. Yeah. <laughs> that's not true. Well, they would I've never hold say, hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, out in the car park, it was great. You must have had about 50 people. That's about yeah. the number of viewers. And a few that, angry oh, people just trying to get into the well, car park. The number of yeah. listeners we no, have. No, no, number of listeners that your opposition gets. So <laughs> they're all here to great see you. Great comeback. Great comeback. That was nice. Burn. <laughs> that was nice, Rick. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Well, look, we keep breaking milestones. You and Sue, our team. Let's yes. see if we can go for another 20. We're, I mean, we're never going to catch you, but it's nice to be on your tail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great, but I've got to say, listening to you guys in the morning, it's very funny. Oh, mate. Oh, thank and you, Rick. And learning well, things about you throughout the years. Yes, like, like the latest Seinfeld being the Seinfeld impression. thing. The amount of people that have stopped me and cannot get over the fact that you are a, a Seinfeld freak is oh, love unbelievable. It. Love it. You can watch it. No matter how many times you watch it, you can watch it and just laugh and laugh. Mm. It's great. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, you for being a part thank of Nathan's so celebration today. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Voice of Perth, everybody. Yes. Rick Arden, Channel 7 News tonight. Thank you so much. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. From the people that brought you Last quarter comes two halves. Let's hear it for unmissable football from the Bank West. Best seats in the house. Here we go. It's our last round of two halves. Up for grabs, two premium Bankwest best seats to see Tottenham and West Ham United go head-to-head at Optus Stadium July 18. Fantastic. It's going to be awesome. Jeremiah loves a bullfrog. We know that. But can he win this <laughs> competition, <laughs> Jeremiah? How are you? You've heard that before, haven't you? Yeah, good thanks, guys. How are you going? I've heard it way too many times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I've only I heard it, it once and I liked ball. it. Um, yeah. uh, there you go. And of course, it's a hippie club classic, right? It's a great. That's how I hooked up with my yeah. wife there. Yeah. So Against the combi van, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Jeremiah was there, there watching. Could she? Um, Jeremiah, yeah. there are just two halves standing between you and greatness, okay? Are you ready? Are you feeling okay. it? Well, sort of, but I'll give it a crack. 
Okay. There are two halves. He's got to get them both right. All right. Here is the first half. What colour is the home kit for Manchester United? Red. You are 100% correct. Top point. First half, done and dusted. Are you ready for the second half? I am. That sounded dirty, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're involved with it, Jeremiah, yeah. so you're you were willing. Keen. You were keen. All right, the second half. Red is the colour of which two letters in the Google typeface logo? Ooh, I think, um... Quick. Running out of time. Time's oh, up, Jeremiah. Come yeah. on. That was O and E. O and the e. first O and E. Okay. Cassidy, Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay, Good, Cassidy. Cassidy. Two halves stand between you and greatness, seeing Jeremiah stuffed it up. <laughs> um, are you ready for your first half question? Yeah. Here we go, Cassidy. Which cult movie resulted in a decrease of beachgoers in 1975? I have no idea. Decrease of beach goers. Time's up. It was. That was the year that Jaws came out. Oh, Jaws. Sorry, Joe's in Naran. Morning, Joe. Morning, guys. Hey, hey Joe. here we go, Joe. Oh, gosh. Here we go, Joe. <laughs> Love it. Two halves. Joe, first half question. How many teams compete in the English Premier League? 26. Twenty, Twenty, Joe. Hi, Joe. Twenty, Twenty. Joe. Sorry, no joy. Uh, Jason, hello. Hello, how are you? Good, Great, Jace. Jace. All right, what's up for grabs here, guys? Tickets to go and see Tottenham take on West Ham United. And they're not premium. just getting tickets, they're premium banquet seats. And you food and to. drink. Food and drink, everyone. And, and um, you'll be able to go onto the ground to have a shot for goal to win more prizes. All right, Jason, all that stands between you and that is two halves. Are you ready? Yep. First half. What is the part of the human eye that controls the amount of light that passes through the pupil? Retina. Sorry, Jay. Iris. And then we had a great Iris related question, but we're never going to get to it. Oh, my God, it it. enrages me. The answer for the second half was Goo Goo Dolls. (laughs) (laughs) Just wanted to bring that up again. Jade's in Calamunda. Morning, Jade. Good morning. Hello, Jade. Jade. Here we go. (laughs) Uh, okay. First half question. Okay. Starting with L, which EPL club has won six European Cups and has the club anthem, You'll Never Walk Alone? I have no idea. Start oh, my L. God. Starting with L. Are you serious? Liverpool! Liverpool! Oh. People are screaming right now. They are. Uh, no joy. Uh, Chris is in Bayswater. This is your chance to swoop in, Chris. Hello. Hey guys, how are you? Wonderful, Good, Chris. buddy. All right, two halves. Time for the first half right now. Where's the ref? Oh, there he is. The ref wandered off. Um, okay. <laughs> Your first half question, Chris. Toto is the name of Alb- uh, Anthony Albanese's pet what? Dog. Made it through the first half. Your second half question, Chris, for the match. <laughs> that ref oh, yes. is really starting to lose it. Yes. Dog Swamp Shopping Centre is located in which Perth suburb that starts with the letter Y? Uh, Yokine. <gasps> He's dead! Yeah! He's done it! Chris! Chris, you are off to see the Spurs versus the Hammers going head to head at Optus Stadium July 18 in those premium Bankwest best seats. Premium seating, food and drinks, and you're headed onto the pitch to kick a goal for more prizes. Chris, well played. Champions, thanks very much. What well uh, Chris. Happy anniversary, Nathan. Oh, thanks, on you, Chris. Chris. Good. Oh. Yeah, good man. And two, nice. halves. Two, two halves. Two halves. He won the two halves. Mate, I love two halves. It'll be back, <laughs> I think. Yep. Yep. When the EPL comes back. <laughs> yeah. They're every week, aren't yeah, they? I don't know the rules. They're coming. Five to know. eight coming up shortly. Uh, more surprises for Nathan oh. to celebrate. No, to be honest, they've been amazing so yeah, far. Yeah, but haven't they? See, trust. You yeah. need to trust us more. Yeah. Don't trust us. Well, we- Don't trust us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. So 20 years of Nathan Morris, mm. which is a long time and a lot can it's happen in that time. time, can't it, Nathan? Yeah, it can. Mm. But there's been some things that have been connected with Nathan the whole mm. time that I've been mm. here, and you know yes. it straight off the bat, Synonymous. even if you've been a listener. Synonymous with Nathan Morris. Mm. Okay. 
and that is the delectable chicken treat. Now, Chicken Treat, you're good friends at Chicken Treat, Nathan, heard about your lack of awards in your illustrious 20-year radio career, so they wanted to give you the only trophy that will matter. Oh, my God. A 20th anniversary cup full of Chicken Treat chips. Turn around now. (laughs) (laughs) Jim! Jim! <laughs> Being presented by the Bin Chicken, the bin aka chicken. 100% that Tim, who made a name for himself dressed in a chicken suit. I know. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. A trophy full of chips. I know. They what smell delicious. Oh, plus, you. plus, you have to open this envelope, Nathan, because okay. it's not just you can't have chips mm. on their own. Is some chicken treat, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Thank open so that. Have a look inside. Treat. It's an oversized card. Congratulations. And- Here's to happiness and here's to you. And it's a good one. This. Oh, it's a good one. It doesn't have the price on the back. All right. Such a wonderful card entitles Nathan Morris to free chicken rolls for a whole year. <laughs> for a whole year. Right, there's no, like, cap or anything. Like, no, I've been no, going, no. like, how many times Your a day? dad's going to make you go yeah, through the drive no, on the way out. <laughs> this, this could be the end of Chicken Treat as we know it, but um, there you go, Nathan. What a celebration. Chicken Treat, thank you so much. Mm, um, mm. Uh, I do think that perhaps if you could chuck in a small gravy and a chip, that'd be great too. <laughs> I, think, I, think, that's I think we can do that. They can do that, yeah, but that's at your that. expense. Oh, they said, they said, yeah. they said oh. oh, my God, so this is anywhere at any time. I, like, I could go in there at 2 in the morning when they're open and yes. just flash this. Yes, and somebody will, management will come down, open up and make you a chicken roll. <laughs> Oh, my God. My dad is going to be furious. Dad, are you furious about this? The rich get richer, he says. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Say I, no more. Um, can we, while we've got him here, can we speak to Tim? Yes. Yes, we can. Great. <gasps> Hi, Tim. Bitches, he's back. I'm back. Oh, oh my God. Tim as an example, mm. and we work with yes. uh, our whole team of the amazing people that we have collected over the years here what? at Nova. And we, who have moved on to bigger and better things. We <laughs> cannot be prouder. 100% that, Tim, if you want to follow him on TikTok and the social. You socials. probably already do. Yes. Years. yes. Funny. You weren't this nice to me when I worked here. Like, yeah. what? Ah, okay. So, do <laughs> you mind going to get me a coffee before we can <laughs> <laughs> um, How are you? I'm so good. How's it going in the influencing world? Oh my gosh, it's so Sorry, good. Sorry, content creator. Oh, yes. Content creator. Like, so, oh can we talk yeah. about your card game that you've brought Absolutely. out? Absolutely. It's called Messy Millennials. Um, <gasps> you've got merch. You've got this is amazing. amazing. Have you oh, really? It's so Tim. random. Yes. Yeah, you okay. haven't bought it. Okay. okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> and obviously, he doesn't follow you because it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, it's a nostalgic party game, like a drinking card game. Yes. And um, yeah, it's just all about like early 2000s and 2010s kind of. Which is sort of what, is what the, I which do. Is what like your all content the content's about. Yeah. Like, it's just like all the, you know, emo phase. The memes. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> are they made? Band. Yes, made. Yeah, available yeah, to purchase. Yep. Greylines.com.au if you want to purchase. Do you bring one in for me? No. As a special so, 20th so anniversary. Oh my God, you know why, really Nathan? Because it's messy millennials. Uh, yeah. You're like Jen Boomer, right? Jen Boomer. Do you have one to give away to our audience right now? Um, You know what? I absolutely will find one to give away to the audience right now. It might be slightly you. But yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes? Yes. If you want to get your hands on messy yes. millennials, give us a call then. 13, 24, 10. Oh, yeah. Lucky Where can we buy them? We'll um, get them. Grey lines. Grey lines. lines. Or just go onto my Grey lands. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial place to sell them, but that's Go fine. to my Instagram and you can find the link there. Um, oh, good Tim, to see you, Tim. We love, we love so that much. you will come back if somebody is celebrating 20 years in the beers. It's, it's been brilliant. Absolutely. You know? Are you still, um, working, are you still working at the shoe shop? No, I quit. <gasps> yeah, so you are a full-time content creator yes. now. Yeah. Yes, I no longer work That's at That's how big you are. You, you, know, you know how many times I've been in there to Trying see to find no, I'm, not, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking out. Well, ask for you, it's not here. But now you're not definitely not there. I'm definitely wow. not there. Well, you're one of our most uh, brilliant success stories That's from right. us, Tim. Thank you so much. Yes. And, and we didn't even guys. do anything. You did it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably um, during work time. Nathan, yeah. you care sure. about the people at home as well, don't you? I love the people I at mean, home. And as well as one person winning um, Messy Millennials yeah. by 100% well. that, Tim, um, the first 50 people that get to Chicken Treat in Mirabuka from 10am this what? morning Are getting what? and wishes Nathan a happy 20th anniversary <gasps> on Nova will score a free Tempter burger. A free 
tempt a burger? That's right. So you need to queue up a chicken treat in Mirror Booker from 10 a.m. And you need to wish Nathan a happy 20th anniversary on Nova. That's Start the key. Start the car. Oh, oh, my God. God. Free this tempt a burger. What a great burger. day. My card and I know. bin chips. Chicken, a trophy chips and a chips. trophy. A Ricardo chips and a trophy. Oh, it's got me from yeah, the Simpsons. A, that is a great caricature. Yes. That's excellent. Oh, my God. Yeah, get into chicken treat. That's fantastic. I hope you enjoy the attempt burger Those, on us. And can I just say, those chips smell delicious. They <laughs> delicious. <laughs> but since your little surgery, you can only yes, have half one, Natalie. <laughs> Don't worry, that's enough. You're looking amazing, though. I'm happy with that. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. I'm in love. Shuka Amor. Shuka Rattle and roll your way to Crown Theatre this July. Chime to the hits of Elvis at All Shook Up. Book now through Ticketmaster. Here we go with a round of All Shook Up. All you need to do is guess what's been shaken up faster than your opponent. We've got two people ready to go. Let's have a chat to Vicky. Uh, good morning, Vicky. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Vic. Hi, Vic. Hi. Big Elvis fan, Vicky? Pardon? Are you a big Elvis fan? Uh, I am, and my mum was, and I'm sure my dad is. So oh. yes. Oh, are you a big fan? Oh, of, great. Are you a big fat fan of thousand dollars? <laughs> of course, even a hundred million would have been good. Oh, oh yeah, no. even that. One even person, million. Million. <laughs> Yeah. New South Wales. I'm really glad that um, he's since been in an area yeah, where... Yeah, Bankstown's yes. a sort of... It's, it's not a fancy It's a area. lottery area. It's a, yeah, it's a battler <laughs> area. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Hey, Vicky, yeah. you're going against Melody from Tapping. Hi, Melody. Hi, how are you this Great. morning? Hi, Hi Melody. 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 Um, do you like a $1,000 as <laughs> Oh, yes, definitely. Mm. What about Elvis? Uh, I was going to say, I like a few of his songs, but no, yeah, definitely yes. not from that era. Sorry, sorry. Mm. We've no, had a win this week. <laughs> 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 now you are Lemonade. The tickets to go and see all shook up of the musical at Crown Theatre plus that thousand bucks cash. Here's what's going to happen. We'll give you a category and then a bunch of words that are in the wrong order. It is your job to put them in the right order. If you think you know what the answer is, buzz in with your name. If you get it right, you take the point. You get it wrong, we move on to the next one. It is the best of five. Let's test some buzzers. Vicky? Vicky. Melody. Melanie. All right. Oh, Melanie. We had Melanie. Melanie, Melanie yeah. with an oh, N. We're calling... Might... I'm so sorry. You can't play. We've, we've, we've got <laughs> Melody up on the screen. <laughs> Melody. Melanie. Uh, okay. Melody. Interesting, Ruby. All right. All right sure. Round one. Here we go. You going to tell them category? Yeah. <laughs> I normally don't, do I? No. Here we go. A saying or phrase, people. Okay. Yep. You're got tongue cat. Melanie. Yes, Melanie. You've, you've got tongue tied. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I actually got to use the words I said. No, Melody. Not, not at anyone's <laughs> either. Nah, Melody, can you put uh, Melody on? <laughs> <laughs> Probably paper. paper. The, the answer was cat got your tongue. Oh, now. cat got your oh. tongue. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. All right, that okay. score is nil all. Yeah, she knows what she did yeah. wrong. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, the category is a song. And here we go. Dot, weenie, yellow, itsy, poker, weenie, bikini, teeny. Vicky. <laughs> yes, Vicky. Not yellow. Uh, itsy, bitsy, teeny, weenie, yellow, dot, bikini. Oh, oh it's so, so close. close. Wow. You missed out poker. <laughs> Poker. Poker. Poker dot big Haiti. Uh, uh, if we could give you half a point, we would, but we That's can't. Old no, no. I know. I, I know, know it's old. I know it is. You knew what it was. <laughs> uh, That's a different one, wasn't it? Um, uh, score check. <laughs> Vicky nil, Melanie nil. Okay. Melody has, <laughs> hasn't done well either. Okay, your next category. It's a food. Everybody, a food. Ice, pie, cream and apple. Vicky. Yes, Melanie. Vicky. Vicky. Apple pie and ice cream. Is correct. <laughs> We're on the board. Vicky scores. Oh my God, the first. No, no, people are collecting themselves. Yes. Okay, you got it. Yes. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. and she's done it. She's yeah. on the board. Vicky leads 1-0. Righto. Okay. Next one, guys, is a movie. Okay. A movie. Here it is. Pants of the the Travelling Sisterhood. Vicky. Yes, Melanie. Vicky. Vicky. Travel... Travelling pants of the sisterhood. <laughs> 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 you don't understand no, 
no, I just Vicky. had buttered a trophy full of chips. No, Vicky. <laughs> from laughing. Vicky, it is in fact the sisterhood of the travelling pants, not the travelling oh, pants of the sisterhood. It's okay, honey. I'm just oh. loving everything that's happening mm. this morning. Vicky <laughs> still needs 1 0. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what's the score? Sorry? 1 0. One nil. One nil. Oh my God. But you two are terrible. <laughs> okay. Um, the next category is a book. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. All right. No, no, no. Hey, dude. You will have heard of You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. It's also a movie, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, all right. Love, eat, pray. Vicky. Melanie. Vicky. Eat, pray, eat. No! Oh, my God! You can't. You can't. <laughs> Pray eat. She did. No, eat, pray, love. No, pray. Eat, pray, eat. Which is fine when you're single. The good news. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie or read the book. The That's good, okay, honey. The good news, Vicky, is that... Oh That's the God. five. It's up. You've still won. I think it's time that we just stop it. Um, <laughs> oh, God, for that apple pie and ice cream. That, was, that was the best ever. <laughs> You're off to see all shook up the musical at Crowd Theatre. Plus, you oh, scored that 1,000 bucks cash. My oh. 84 year old dad will be. Yes, he'll have a great time. Oh, I was going to say well played, but yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you for um, playing Melody and Melanie. Oh, my God. Um, that was my favourite well round of the entire week. Well so, done, thank you so much. That was a gift. Sucked big time. I know. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. We are celebrating 20 years of Nathan Morris. Hey. Show me. Oh. So far, we've had the bin chicken popping by. Mm. They give you a free chicken treat for a year. Yeah. We've had um, you running through a football uh, the banner, banner, which was, was a dream. One of the highlights of my life. Ricard dropped by and gave you a certificate Love of participation. Yeah. It's been yeah. a great day. Yeah. We, we thought we'd go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Back yes. to the beginning. Now, right Someone now. Someone who was there the first day that you sat in that chair, Nathan Morris. Good morning, mystery caller. <laughs> Good morning and congratulations, Nathan, you superstar, you annoying piece of work. <laughs> Excuse but let me. Let me tell you, from, from all of our crew, yeah. from from myself and my family, or my four beautiful children in Jack and Abby and Elsie and Sweena, Hey, Tim Goldfish. We would like to wish you congratulations. Good on you, Tim. Great to have you a part Tim. of it, Tim. Hey, Tim, when we first started, right, and you were with us, did you <laughs> think, what the hell has <laughs> radio done? Who are these two chumps? Because I was inexperienced, Nathan was inexperienced. Yep. And here you were, experienced. Yes. Yeah, I did, and I, I honestly thought I'd become a full-time member of the show and not just a sports guy. Yeah. Um, oh, we were never going to do that. No, 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 no clearly. And... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, look, I, I just you were just an annoying... For Nathan, was just an annoying bloke off Big Brother. Just, you know, really got on my goat, to be pretty honest with you. <laughs> Didn't you start out the back of a uh, rubbish bin with... Um, yes. Top- Milk yeah, yeah, as most stuff. world leaders do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tim, I want to ask you, because um, the guys bring it up sometimes when, obviously, uh, uh, they would say something that would get on your goat, right? And so mm. you, yeah. Is it true that you'd walk in here and then refuse to talk to them? you just do your sports <laughs> segment and yeah. leave? Yeah. 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 Silent treatment king, I am. I'm the silent treatment king. It was so I'd sit amazing. I'd not talk to them. Yeah. And, 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 and it would go for weeks. Yeah. It would go for weeks. And then, then Tim, the, the, the most memorable time, yeah. the most yeah. memorable yeah. time was, because like, Tim had decided, no, you don't deserve my conversation. <laughs> so, so Tim would. So he'd even like he'd look at us during break. So when we're on the air, it'd be fine. And as soon as that would go, his eyes would glaze away from us. Yeah, right. um, because he'd only do it when the red light was on. Yeah, and then it was, it was weeks afterwards. He walked in and he handed us both something, and they were what, Natalie? Olive branches. <laughs> literal, <laughs> literal olive branches. I did. I did. My favourite did. Goss was that you would punish us by because normally in your sport you would say coming up with Nathan and that I'm going to talk about this. Well, when you're reading yeah. the news and you wouldn't use our names. <laughs> 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 yeah, which is like the way to really hurt it. So like coming up shortly, you'd say, I'm going to talk about What a disaster I was. Yeah. Yeah, no. What a disaster. But do you, do you know, tell you what, they were great times. Weren't it's a shame they? that everything's fallen apart since then. But <laughs> <laughs> 100%. They were great times. Uh, it, you were funny. I mean, no, it doesn't surprise me you've lasted as long as you have. You and Matt are just brilliant. Sean, uh, you know, give or take. Um, <laughs> this is the truth. Not for everyone. <laughs> Yes, yeah, not for everyone. Uh, but uh, let me just say, Nathan, yeah. 20 years. In this industry, it doesn't matter whether it's TV, print or radio, to make 20 years is a remarkable achievement. You've come a long way. Um, as you know, I'm selling houses now, so if you're invested, <laughs> if you're keen... <laughs> Give it a plug, Goss. Go, go on, go Goss, on. Go go on. Well. Theagency.com.au. I'm oh. two for two, but now I've got no stock, so if anyone wants yeah. to sell a house, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me on the socials. But, Nathan, as I said on the little post that I sent to the crew... 
a couple of days ago. Um, 20 years is fantastic. Just be careful when you get to 30 because normally that's when a company will get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I like is that you're not bitter about it. So I, got, I was out this morning at the back of the park car park. I looked up. The vultures are circling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well done. You're an absolute, you, you, you just make mornings funny, oh, mate. Thanks, you're buddy. a good person. You've got a heart of gold. You're a hugger, which I love. And, and to be honest, Nat, you deserve a massive pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, it was so great working with you. It was, like, it was probably the best um, uh, the best way to I start mean, a career. Not at the time, but in hindsight. No, <laughs> at the time. <laughs> you gigantic right. freak. I love you. Good on you, uh, Goss. Good on you guys. Well done. Well Well done, mate. Thanks, guys. Good on you, buddy. Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. We've been celebrating Nathan Morris's 20th anniversary Ooh. of sitting in that chair talking on that microphone. <laughs> We've had a couple of guests in here that joined us early this morning to mm. see what was going on. Well, they're the wind beneath his wings. They, they provided 20 years' worth of uh, content, content as well. <laughs> Brian and Marlene the Morris. The creators. Brian and Marlene. <laughs> We've had so much along the journey that, you, you know, like, he didn't have a door growing up. I mean... Yeah, what was that about? You know, if, well, that way they try and keep their room clean. Why have a door? <laughs> Do you think? Why and, I mean, why have a door, Dad? I keep an eye on them all the time. Yeah. But why would you want to? No one well, they're getting up to in there. Well, I got one when I sold the well. place. <laughs> <laughs> How has the last 20 years been for you two? Because I signed up for radio, but you didn't, and you got dragged along the way. Oh, well, it's not well, too hectic on Well, we had no on choice, here, you know? did we? <laughs> we actually had no choice. Yeah, yeah. What was your no. favourite memory of what we've made you do? Oh, well, you busted out the rehab oh, moves before. That was the most horrific time ever. Performing as Amy Winehouse in yeah, front of people. I yeah. don't drink and yeah. I was blind by <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the morning that and my Dutch dear, courage. dear departed sister yeah. kept feeding me beer, feeding me wine, feeding me beer up at the bloody recording. I, I mean, I do like that you really embraced the Amy oh, Winehouse. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Mum goes into and rehab after And then we went to that nightclub. Onyx the Bar. The Onyx Bar. Yes. And where yet. I was supposed to do it, and you did do, did it. You did do oh, it. Well, I did do. It. I nearly fell in that little pool, that waiting yeah. pool thing, because yeah. yeah. I had again drink, 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 drink. Yeah. Shocking. The last time oh. I'd seen Mum drunk was in Bali when she drank a jug of Harvey Wallbanger, not realising how alcoholic it was. And oh. that night we were terrified because Mum would wake up screaming, saying that her legs were rolling up and hitting her in the <laughs> back of her head. <laughs> yes. Talking about Bali, Brian, Yeah. you just told us a story. Our Mum was just telling us a story. When you go to Bali, you'd have a, such a great time. What would the people at the hotel do at the they'd, end of the night? They'd write my room number on my hat. So if I was walking out of the joint, they'd grab hold of me and take me up to the they room and say, hey, Marlene, he's back again. As long as he's still had his hat on, <laughs> they can get him home. Marlene wanted to put the different number on there <laughs> so you can come home. Yeah. I told well, Sean's to... off to Bali on Sunday, so there's a, there's a tip. Good yeah. we'll, 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 we'll go down office and get some hat stickers. <laughs> I, I even tried to get the staff to leave him on those day beds, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah the day beds. The yeah. I said, just leave him there. Just put a sheet over him. He'll be right. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, i got to ask you, because Nathan was kind of alluding that because you've become part of the show, yes. right? And all the stories that come back. And, and I remember when Megan was like that at the start, she was getting offended by stu- stuff that I say. Mm. But when did it get to a point where you go, bugger it? Right, um, at, right at the beginning. Yeah. Because it was kind of You can't of fight like, it. Well, it's out there now, so who cares? Yeah. I mean, Molly, while mean, we're on that, what happened in Hong Kong? Nothing, really. <laughs> <laughs> very, very what do you think? little. Oh, shall we tell everyone that? Time? Shall we tell everyone that on the 25th year? <laughs> <laughs> Try the 30th. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the 40th. Just 10 more years to wait, everybody. Yeah. We find um, out what the hell happened in Hong Kong. Yeah, no. I mean, look, with him on air, uh, it was... Nathan's always been an open book anyway. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter whether he's on radio or whether he's just with friends or people he's just met. It's like a, it's take me as I am or lump it. Yeah. Yep. And if you don't like it, you can always walk away. Yep. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yep. That's so, why the dating world has lumped it. <laughs> That's why you've got no one. I'm still waiting. Well, wow. We love that you've been a part of the show yes. for as, as long as Nathan has. It's been yeah. a, a package deal. That's been fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you, watching you two, I mean, Sean, you joined later, yeah. but watching you two grow from the very beginning. Where we had no idea what we're doing. Well, no, no. <laughs> who did? But 
I mean, watching that was like... It's very exciting. You, the sweat they go through every day. Yeah, yeah. no, thank you for acknowledging he that, wants to, he, wants very hard. he wants to have a go at us. He wants to have a go. The train oh, no. driver that doesn't steer a vehicle <laughs> wants to have a go at us about our job being easy. But anyway, <laughs> it's been brilliant. It's been yes, and yeah. you've baked a lot of bacon savouries for us over the years, and we appreciate that as well. What are they? Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know. We haven't seen them for a while. Yeah, so. It's been a while. Oh, no. anyway, it's with yeah. the sponge. Right. Uh, Ross, Thanks, hello. Thanks, hey, Rossi. Howdy, guys. Happy 20 years, Nathan. Thanks, One of my favourite things this morning was uh, Marlene and Brian fighting about who's <laughs> responsible for Nathan's deep-seated issues. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a package deal too. I think they tag-teamed on that, to be honest. Uh, Nate, you feel feel all right? I know you don't love the attention, but... um, Yeah, no, I think it was really sweet. The people I got messages from, which I understand they're going to be put on Instagram. Yeah, they're up now. They're up now. All the video messages that I got. um, uh, Having mum and dad here, um, doing the show with um, with not just, uh, you know, Nat and Sean, but... But with my entire team, we've got um, Ellie, who has been with us for so many years. We've got Harry, we've got Ruby, we've got Zach, we've got Sam, and we've got uh, Amy, 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 our producer, who we could not do yeah, any of this without. More than half of our time here, yeah, Amy's yeah, been with us, so it's yeah. been amazing. Abby, um, uh, you, Ross, mm. um, yeah, we're, we're all very, the staff here. We're very lucky to have you, Nathan. You're the heart and soul of this place. But you're also unbelievably, hilariously inappropriate, and I think that's my oh. favourite thing about <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I actually know what you're talking about, so... In- so you got two weeks off now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got yeah. an extra week, so I'll be back in three weeks. Mm, geez, Long nice. service leave, I know, right? Yeah. Enjoy all of that. We love you, Nate. Mm. Love you, Ross. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.